here we go with the two boxes received. Um, now, the first one obviously is monitor shaped. It has been packed reasonably well. Polystyrene and things like that. Um, now, I'm not going to be able to lift that out while holding a camera, so I will just cut. I'm just showing them in the original boxes first. And we have the system in here. And there we go. Uh, a little yellowed. We have an Acorn A5000. Uh, it's been packed reasonably well. System out. Um, might need a bit of bleaching. Let's see if we can get that discoloration off. Um, okay, this is the polystyrene thing. So we have um, standard power connection here, and obviously a um, power connector out for connecting the monitor. An Econet port, parallel, serial, keyboard. Um, headphones and the video out which is a um, sort of 15 or a 12th I'll have to look this up it's missing one of the screws there so um, and you can I mean I'm really not 100% sure whether the monitor is going to be working but it is the proper monitor that came with it so but you can outbeat these to other monitors so if that doesn't work I've just got to um, get a cable converter and hook it up to another monitor. Um, hopefully the system works and otherwise it will be a bit of a door up project but it was an opportunity to get one of these at a um, quite a cheap price because it's generally these auctions that offer pick up only and now that I've discovered the um, smart send, that's what they're called, um, who will go and collect the items for you as long as you can convince the person to pack them up so they've done a reasonable job. Um, so what we might do is um, I'll get the monitor out and just to get, take a bit of video of that so you can see what it's like and um, once I get it set up and um, maybe make a little bit of progress of getting some video I'll add it on to this footage right back again got everything out so here's the monitor it's an EETO which I've never heard of we have uh, vertical hole bright contrast and brightness and an on off here um, also I didn't show you the keyboard before I mean it's obviously yellowed a little bit but I'll try a bit of bleaching and cleaning on there but other than that all their keys are present the cable looks good um, it actually, I found the that missing screw-in pin from the back, and we have a cable converter to go from the 15 pin at the back to the 9 pin that this monitor takes. But I'll obviously need a um, larger, uh, like an extension lead. Also got this as well. I'm not 100% sure because I mean like, that's straight through pass through, so that must be doing something. Um, that's all components. I'll just give you a look at the back of the monitor. So it's a 14 inch multi scan monitor. So if it does work, um, it may actually be quite useful. We have um, quite a lot of inputs on the back. Oh, sorry, inputs, switches, TT analog mode, um, a lot of text switches. And um, yeah, all sorts of um, adjustments you can make. So, be very interesting. And we've got H center, V size, and V center adjustment on the back too. So, um, and we've got the model number there, CC1435. So, I'll look up and see if I can find a manual. And um, we'll just need to make up some sort of a video cord.
to be able to hook it up um, and see how we go. All I know is that both powered on with the power lights. I don't know um, any further. Now I now I know you need a mouse for an Acon because the operating system relies on a little bit. Um, I don't have one, um, but um, I should be able to hook up a serial mouse. Uh, I've already found the thing for that, just need to pick up a couple of parts. So um, I'll continue back once I've got to the stage of hooking this up. Right, here we go with the insides of the um, Amiga A5000. Um, I mean, for a start, I could hear something flopping around. And luckily, it's just the speaker, so it just needs to go back in its mount there. Uh, the cone looks all right. So we have a, um, so a focus there, come on camera, Connor CP3044, I think this is a 20, um, which would be quite sufficient, uh, but easily replaceable. Need be nice, neat connectors in here. There's the floppy drive, sorry I zoomed in a bit too much there. Power supply, it all actually looks pretty clean inside, it's not too dusty. Here's the main board. And we've got um, the bank of ROM chips, so RISCOS 3 by the looks of it, 1992. And there's actually a spare ROM slot there, I suppose it's adding on extra. I'm really a bit out of date with these ones, so quite interesting, nice component layout. It's got a little daughter board here for plugging in expansion cards. Um, they're all empty at the moment. But it's a nice clean machine. There's also another expansion board port in there. And obviously that's the RAM down there. Um, so really interested in getting this machine working so uh, hopefully the next video will be it firing up at some stage well there we go folks um, now the machine does go through the power and gives you a self test and it points clearly to a seat bad CMOS read and there's the culprit we have a leaking uh, battery um, and it's gone come on focus no uh, you can see it's actually, I think the machine must have been sitting up on its end, um, but some of it has gone down over the circuit board. So I'm going to have to take this out and clean it and see if there's any traces eating through and obviously get that nasty battery out and get a replacement. So we'll put this one as a work in progress.